Good morning, guys. Today is moving day. I am already feeling a bit stressed. Chaos has already ensued. The moving company called to confirm my move and said they would be here at 9.30, but they told me that I had to make my final payment with a check. And I did not know that I needed a check when I booked this move. No one ever told me that. I figured I could just pay with a credit card. So I need to run to the bank and go get checks this morning, which was not at all on my agenda. And I literally like did not get up early enough to go to the bank and get checks and come back and be here for the movers. Everything in my building is like secure access. So I have to be here to be able to let the movers in. So there's just a lot going on. I definitely did not think that a bank trip was on my agenda for today. So I need to go do that and then come back here and get everything ready for the movers. Today was moving day and I did such a bad job at filming. It's 9.45 and I'm about to shower and crawl into bed. It has been the most exhausting day. I really did not do any unpacking today, which sucks, but the whole moving process took so many more hours than I thought it was going to. I will update you guys on everything in the morning about how crazy this day has been, but I am so exhausted. I'm at 12,376 steps. 5.1 miles. I've just been running all over the place all day today and I'm so tired. I just feel like so sweaty and gross like I should need to get in the shower. But I built my bed, I washed my sheets, I put the bed back together so I can actually get a good night's sleep tonight. I put the shower curtain up and all my products in there so I can take like a good shower. I obviously packed enough or unpacked enough laundry stuff to where I could wash my sheets so I have a clean bed that I'm crawling into. So I did like a few things enough so that I can just like get a good night's sleep tonight and start fresh in the morning. But but I need to get enough unpacked that I can make myself breakfast and I would love to make myself a coffee in the morning <laughs> so that's my goal first thing is to at least get enough unpacked that I can make a quick breakfast because I have like all my food in my fridge and everything it's just a matter of getting out the utensils and pots and pans and like things that I need to cook with but I definitely want to focus in on the kitchen tomorrow it's a huge disaster as you can see so that's my goal that I'm gonna film the entire unpacking process tomorrow and hopefully it's gonna be a better day tomorrow so i'll update you guys in the morning good night kiana from the future here before we get into the next morning and starting to unpack my kitchen i thought i would fill you guys in quickly on the drama with my movers because i mentioned it several times throughout this video but didn't actually tell you guys what happened movers showed up and started packing up all the boxes and everything was good i mean it took like an hour to pack every single box into the truck i was so like confident in that moment that this was a great moving company and everything was fine and it was gonna go so quick and then they started packing the furniture and that was taking a while which i understand they had to like put moving blankets on everything wrap things up they didn't want to break anything they were being gentle which i really appreciated but they were just literally taking out like one thing at a time and it was just taking so long so i was definitely helping out i was taking anything i could they had just like a weird process i don't know if this is like a normal process for movers or like what the situation is with apartment buildings but they were just pulling everything out of my unit and taking it down the hall and leaving it all next to the elevator so we literally like unpacked at least half of the apartment and just set it in the hallway and as i mentioned in the beginning of this video i have a key fob that gives me like control access to every part of that building so i have to follow the movers up and down the elevator every time they go so they would open up the elevator load as much in as they possibly could into the elevator till it was literally stuffed full take it all down and then unload everything in to the lobby so at this point there's still stuff in my apartment like in my actual unit there's stuff in the hallway upstairs next to the elevator there's all this stuff in the lobby downstairs next to the elevator and then they're taking loads and loads and loads out to the truck in the front so like at this point all my stuff is just exposed everywhere and i'm just like hoping that no one comes and decides to help themselves to all my furniture okay sorry my sd card was full so i just have to delete some stuff from my camera but i was already a little bit stressed at that point because i didn't have anyone with me to help me keep an eye on my stuff upstairs while I went downstairs and like helped the movers so that was just already a little bit stressful and then they started to take the couch and that's where things really took a turn and all went wrong when I first had this couch delivered <laughs> four years ago they delivered it without the feet so they took it up the stairs and then they got it into my apartment and drilled all the feet on well although this moving company told me that they would assemble or disassemble all of my furniture they did not come with any tools so I was really grateful in that moment that I took apart my bed which I thought was gonna be the only thing that really needed to be taken apart it just like did not occur to me to take all the feet off the couch myself before they got there I figured they would come with tools and could do that themselves I was mistaken so they are 
trying every which way to get this couch down the stairs they got it out of my unit and into the hallway but they were just it was two guys they were pivoting and moving it every which way that they could could not get it down the stairs so then they started trying the elevator which i'm not even sure why we tried that because the elevator was absolutely too small my couch is like at least seven feet long so there was just no way that was gonna work literally for an hour they are trying to maneuver this couch they are whacking into stuff in the hallway and i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna get charged for like scraping up the walls out here so at that point i was starting to get stressed because i was paying these movers by the hour i just was like please leave the couch for now and like let's at least load everything else out because i still had all my bedroom bedroom furniture and like the dresser and the closet that still needed to be loaded out so i was like please just like leave the couch here for now let's get everything into the truck and come back to the couch so in the meantime while they were doing that i went down to my friend's apartment and got a screwdriver and a drill and i gave them all the tools they're trying to get the feet off the screwdriver is just not working and then the drill was like too short like the couch where the screws were was really really deep and without an extender piece they couldn't use the drill to get the feet off neither of those worked we're again trying the couch trying the couch it's not working so the one mover guy is convinced that if he calls someone else that someone else will be able to help him get this couch down the stairs and in my mind i'm like just we just need to get these feet off like that is what's going to solve this problem but he's convinced that he is gonna get his other buddy to come over and help him with this couch. So we move everything to the new place and leave the couch behind at the old place. We finally got everything dropped off at the new apartment i want to say it was maybe like 3 30 or 4 mind you they arrived at my apartment at like 9 40 9 45 so it had taken so many hours just to do that and i was so stressed because we still had to go back for the couch luckily they did not charge me for going back to go get the couch and then come back again so they only charged me for that time but they did charge me for like the hour and a half that they were fussing with the couch trying to get it down the stairs so at that point i was like whatever i'm just like paying this price even though it was much more expensive than i thought it was going to be so then they went on like their lunch break or whatever and called me and they were like we're going back to the old apartment so then i had to drive back over let them into the building they bring another guy who does not have any tools so then there's three guys trying to pivot this couch down the stairs again i'm like the the feet just have to come off the couch like i it you can try this every which way you possibly can but it's not gonna work so i go down to the office to ask if the maintenance people have any other screwdriver that i can use to try to get these feet off luckily they had like a way better screwdriver than the one i was using before i gave them the screwdriver and they were able to unscrew all the feet and what do you know the couch magically went right down the stairs without any issues once we got the feet off everything was fine but i just still don't really understand why they brought a third person to come help them without any tools so we finally got the couch loaded back over here they put the feet back on the couch once i got it back into the apartment by that point it was after five o'clock and i was starving because because I had eaten two little egg bites in the morning at like eight o'clock. I hadn't had any food or water <laughs> since that moment. I left and went to grab food because I didn't have anything unpacked to where I could cook anything. Then came back and I just built my bed. I put my shower together so that I could actually take a shower. At that point, I was just like, this day is done. I'm not unpacking anything whatsoever. We're just gonna start over tomorrow. So that is the drama with my movers. Um, it was just, it was a lot. And in hindsight, I think I probably should have gone with a more expensive company because they would have been more efficient. They would have come prepared with tools and it would have taken less time overall and I probably would have ended up paying a cheaper price than going with a company that charges less per hour, but then isn't prepared, doesn't have what they need and ultimately takes way more time and charges me more money hindsight is 2020 you live and you learn it's all water under the bridge now and everything is fine but i wanted to fill you guys in because i kept saying that i had moving drama and didn't actually tell you what it was let's cue to the day after my move good morning today is kitchen day first things first i need to just unbury enough stuff to be able to make myself some breakfast yesterday i didn't eat like basically the entire day i just did not feel good by last night so i really want to dig out my pots and pans 
dig out my dishes, dig out my coffee cups, make myself some eggs <laughs> and a cup of coffee. We'll see how challenging that really is. I feel like I labeled all the boxes really well, so I should know like right where things are, but I just still need to figure out where in my kitchen I wanna put things. There's so much storage and so many drawers and like I just don't know what, I don't know where to put things. I'm feeling like maybe we put the silverware in the drawer directly to the right of the stove and then maybe here i do like all of my pot holders and dish towels and stuff i also then have one two three four five six drawers over here that i could also use one of these two drawers could be like the saran wrap and plastic bags and all that stuff i don't know i really don't know how i'm gonna organize this and i guess like i can always move things around later but i would like to not have to do that i'm thinking cups and such in this cabinet maybe this one will be like all of my morning vitamins and stuff i don't know and then maybe all of my dishes could go in here i feel like a part of the problem in this apartment is that everything is so tall i can't physically reach anything that's going to be on this top shelf up here and i know that these shelves can be adjusted so Maybe I'll do like plates and bowls and then like move this down and put other things on top because otherwise I'm just gonna like permanently have to leave a stool out here in my kitchen. And then maybe I do my little like coffee bar situation where this mess is right now next to the refrigerator. Although I think eventually I'm gonna wanna put an ice maker right here. So then maybe coffee bar would go like kind of over here. But for now, I think I will just put it here. I don't know. There's so much storage. It's kind of crazy. But I'm thinking pots and pans maybe here. I mean, I could also do them over here. But I feel like, yeah, on that side will be good. Maybe I should just start pulling stuff out. But I feel like first I need to like move these boxes further out into this area. Because I can't actually access any of these cabinets as long as there's tons of boxes in the way this is gonna be such an adventure it's an adventure that i don't know if i'm ready for at 9 a.m on a sunday morning okay cups i'm gonna put up here okay i feel like i'm also gonna have a lot of like laundry to do today because i packed blankets and towels in a lot of these boxes just for like extra layers of protection so nothing would break but that means that i want to like then wash all of those things before I just go putting them back in their place. Let's put my welcome mat back out. All these pictures, I'm gonna put elsewhere. Good news, you guys, we found a coffee cup. I'm gonna have to start a whole bag just for all of the paper that I'm unwrapping forever. At the I'm gonna have to start a whole bag of just all the paper that I'm peeling off all of these breakable things so that I can recycle all of this. Where are the scissors? I don't think I'll even need this fan to be honest. I don't know where my avocado oil spray is at the moment. So I think we're just gonna have to use some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes as the oil for our eggs so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, I don't know where the lid is at the moment, but <laughs> we're just gonna have to be careful. But I found enough dishes to make myself breakfast. Okay, it appears that these shelves are not actually adjustable like I thought that they were. I think that these are all one piece and you can't get the shelves out because the cabinet doors are in the way. So I think if you wanted to adjust the height of the shelves, it would have needed to be done before the cabinet doors went on. Unless I'm like seriously mistaken, but I feel like this goes all the way up the side. I don't think we're going to do any adjusting here, which is really unfortunate. I might have to just get my own like shelf riser things eventually for these because there's just no way I can reach anything on the top shelf unless I get on my step stool. Thank you. 
you have officially seen all there is to see of my moving in and unpacking. I did such a horrible job <laughs> vlogging the entire unpacking process and getting this place in order. I feel like it was just chaos of boxes everywhere. I just needed to focus and get things unpacked. I really wish that I would have filmed more looking back. I edited this whole video and it just abruptly stops at the kitchen and I didn't film anything else. I just had a lot of drama with the movers and that day ended up being so much longer than I expected it to be. So I didn't get like any unpacking done that first night. I just set my bed up and got the shower put together and that was it. And then Sunday, I spent a lot of the day unpacking pretty much the entire day. And then Monday, I went back to my old place and said goodbye to the old Old apartment. That was a much more emotional experience than I expected it to be. I literally bawled my eyes out turning off the lights and leaving that apartment for the last time. It was more for me than just leaving that apartment. It was just like closing the whole chapter of my early 20s and like moving on. I don't know. I just associated this apartment with so much of like my early 20s and moving out on my own. And then it just felt like the apartment was like the symbolism for all of that. And I just like melted. And then <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday, I was back to work again, back to normal unpacking after work and then Thursday I actually left I had another trip planned but now we're back I'm basically a hundred percent unpacked and settled which is feeling really good this move has had a lot of like ups and downs and challenges and every time I think I'm like settled and good and then something else happens so I'm really hoping it's all smooth sailing from here but I've made some adjustments and some tweaks to some of the areas I redecorated a little bit so I will show you guys some of that in an upcoming vlog and I'm also decorating the patio hopefully this weekend there's also been some drama with the patio furniture but I think it should all be here here over the weekend and early next week so I'm really hoping that I can put the patio together and film all of that for you but there's definitely lots more content to come in this new apartment I feel like when you move it's just like a good time to kind of like reset and establish new routines and just kind of like switch things up so there will be some of that content coming your way soon too if you've missed all of my other moving vlogs and everything associated and the empty apartment tour that i did of this place and all of those things i will have everything linked down below for you guys but i am sorry that i didn't film more of unpacking this place it was just chaos i hope you still enjoyed watching though don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will just see you guys in the next vlog bye